Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of chapter two in Larson. And the problem is this. We're given a table here of data. We're given classes and it gives us ranges 18 to 28, 29, 39, and so forth. And then the counts are the frequencies in each of those classes or bins. They're sometimes called bins. And we're asked to complete this table down below where they put that same information in there, but we need the midpoint, the relative frequency, and the cumulative frequency. Now this midpoint, the easiest way, you can, you can just do it by inspection in this case. That's 18 to 28, that's 10. Half of 10 is 5, 15, excuse me, 18 plus 5 is 23. And then you can do that to get the midpoints. That's about as quick as anything. But let's do it, the rest of it, using StatCrunch. And what we will do there is go to the little blue rectangle, click on Copy to Table, and open in StatCrunch. Okay, we've got our data there, and unfortunately, the uh, whoever set this up didn't do a very good job. StatCrunch won't work if the variable names are in a row. The variable names have to be up there. So I'm going to highlight those, Control-X to copy them and remove them, Control-V to paste those there. Now I've got to highlight that, Control X, and then I'm going to go up there, Control Victor, and now I've got the data set up so that StatCrunch can use it almost. StatCrunch doesn't like things like a comma there, so I'm going to delete that comma F and just simplify my variable name. To find the relative frequency and the cumulative frequency, there's not a built-in tool in StatCrunch. But what we can do is go to Data, Compute, and we've got some options here, Expression or Multiple Expression. I'm going to use Multiple, but they're very similar. Bring this up. My first one, I'm going to call it the Relative Frequency and the Expression going to use build and we're going to take the frequency put that in there put the divider slash and then I want to take the sum of the frequencies we find my function there double click that to enter it and then we need to put frequency inside the parentheses so I double click that to enter it and then click OK and that is our first one our second function was going to be cumulative frequency and we hit the build again and this time though we've got a function in here called cumsum I'm going to double click that to enter it and then we want to double click frequency to put it into the function and click OK and that's all I need I click compute and I've got now my two columns that were entered the relative frequencies and the cumulative frequencies calculated for me. I brought the problem back up and can you see we we have the answers they want. And one, one final caution, when you're in my stat lab, read carefully to find out how many decimal places is required. StatCrunch is really picky about that. If it say three decimal places, give them three decimal places. Here they say hundredth, which is two decimal places. So I would take my relative frequency and round that to 0 0.05, 0 0.12, 0 0.19, 0 0.19, and so forth there. And of course, my cumulative frequencies are already set up properly, and those are the answers. So I hope this helps.